You've witnessed him raising the dead to life. You've witnessed him healing the sick. You've witnessed him casting out demons. You've witnessed him with his teachings that challenges the status quo. And then all of a sudden, your leader drops a bombshell on you. And he tries to tell you that he's going to be rejected, he's going to be suffering, and eventually he will die. And then on the third day, he will rise again. This is the backdrop to our gospel story today. So imagine that that's your closest friend. That's your closest person to you, whether it's your spouse, whether it's a family member, and they're talking about death. That's awkward, uncomfortable, something that you really do not want to talk about, something that you really do not want to discuss. You're not ready for it. You're not ready to hear the truth. Because as Jesus shares the shocking truth about his impending suffering, his impending death, the disciples' expectations, their hopes are shattered. They were expecting a king, not a condemned criminal. Their confusion is understandable. Jewish expectations of the Messiah resolved around earthly power and political dominance. Jesus, however, redefines the concept, the calling of a different kind of following, one that is rooted in sacrifice and in service. Peter protested, saying, not on my walk, Jesus. And Jesus rebukes Peter and tells him to get behind me, Satan, for you do not know or do not understand the ways of God. It is a timeless story that we continue to resonate with. Like the disciples, we too encounter moments where our faith is challenged. The clash of cultural expectation with Jesus' radical message, reflecting how our understanding of faith can be challenged by unexpected circumstances. Perhaps for some of us it is a personal loss. For others it could be a difficult decision. In a world that seems increasingly fractured and unjust, but just as Jesus' prediction of his suffering came as a shock to his disciples, life often throws us a curveball. We yearn for security. We yearn for comfort. And we yearn for earthly success, mirroring the expectations of the disciples who desired a powerful Messiah. But Jesus' call is to something deeper, something of a different kind of kingdom that is built on love, like loving your neighbor even when they are difficult, loving your neighbor no matter the cost. Jesus' value puts service above all by putting others' needs above your very own with examples of humility and servanthood. Jesus' value is with sacrifice, being willing to let go of your comfort, of your personal gain, and embracing a spirit of selflessness that is central to the gospel's message. The true meaning of following Jesus is beyond earthly rewards and worldly power, 
focusing on a commitment to truth, to love, and to compassion. The enduring legacy of Jesus' sacrifice and the call to follow in his footsteps, even when it demands self-denial and embracing a different kind of kingdom than we expect. Following Jesus for the sake of the gospel does not equate to suffering or becoming a martyr. It's about living our faith authentically, even when it means taking a stand against injustice, upholding our values, even when it pressures us to conform, or demonstrating kindness, even in the face of hostility. It's about standing up for what we believe, even when it is unpopular and inconvenient. It's about choosing to act with compassion in a world that often prioritizes self-interest. It's about living a life that embodies the teachings of Jesus, even in the face of challenges. The gospel isn't just about a personal salvation. It is about transformation, transforming the world around us. It is about being a beacon of light in a world that is filled with darkness. It's about carrying forward the message of love, a message of hope, a message of service, even when it feels like a heavy burden. This is what it means to pick up your cross and follow Jesus. Jesus makes it clear what's the point of collecting or accumulating earthly processions when you're gonna lose it all in the end. There's people around us who are hungry. There's people around us who are homeless. The question for us church, what are we doing about it? The journey of faith is never easy. It is never smooth sailing. There would be moments of doubt, moments of fear, and instances where the path ahead seems unclear. But as we navigate these challenges, may we remember this timeless message from Mark, that following Jesus demands sacrifice. May we as a church and as followers of Christ draw strength from Jesus' example and the enduring power of the gospel May we carry the torch of his teachings and courage with compassion and unwavering faith, making a difference in the world, one act of love at a time for the sake of the gospel. May we today go forth from this place renewed in our commitment to follow Jesus, not for earthly rewards, but for the promise of a life lived authentically, serving others and spreading the message of love, spreading the message of hope to a world that desperately needs it.